Hello, Annie Cod here and today I'm going to be showing you the locations for 8 literal easter eggs in Superliminal. I'll show you each level that I found them on and how to get up to them. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and it lets me know I'm doing a good job. Let's get straight into it. Now the first one is in Optical and when you get to the very first door that comes off its hinges, you need to get into the ceiling. If you do struggle with the door and getting up there, there is some cans you can get. It's right at the beginning of the level and a lot of people think that you have to actually get up here. Well you don't all you have to do is jump up high enough so you can actually see the egg and then you can collect it from a distance like that now the first one is kind of like a, a sky -y, cloudy sort of one kind of like an oval earth if you like pretty cool the next one is on the same level and we all remember this room and what you have to do is build up to the very high walkway and the egg is actually on the walkway there's probably a thousand different ways you can build up to there what i'm not going to do is make you watch while i build up there but there's a lot of things in this this room that you can use to build up once you get up run down the walkway and you'll see the starry purple egg sitting there now the next egg is on cubism and it's right at the beginning you'll run into this main room here and you'll see a pallet truck on your right all you have to do is jump onto that and get onto the pipes run along the pipes jump down and you'll see a bright luminous egg sitting there for you there is a table on that side as well so you can get back over again and that's egg number three probably exactly how you'd imagine an easter egg to be if you're on a hunt and there's also a a consolation room here as well if you haven't got the consolation there you go two and a one -er. so the next one is on clone and as you're running in there's also a consolation room to the side of the vending machine but if you keep running all the way through the corridor you'll get into some sort of industrial corridor and that's where the lift is before the end now if you look up you can see a tiny little speck of red that is an actual easter egg you can't reach it from this distance but what you can do is build up there if you remember the vending machine that i pointed out that vending machine actually kicks out more vending machines and you can use these to build up to that area now the good thing about these machines is they always stand upright so you can't they can't fall over again there's a few different ways what i like to do is make steps out of them and keep stacking them up until you get to the top now once you're on this pipe you don't have to go any further remember you can reach it from quite a distance the egg is red to start with however when you pick it up it turns green and you get a little light out of it which is pretty cool this is probably my favorite egg because you can actually use this for stuff i'm not sure what you need to use it for but but you can use it it looks pretty cool as well not nice and clean now the next one is on labyrinth and you all remember this bit where you're running across now you do fall down at the back you're supposed to do this but before you do so make sure you align the block like this and i'll show you exactly where you need to be clicking so there's a doorway right there and there's a block inside the doorway when you click the block it will force a load of blocks to come out of the doorway i'll show you what i mean now it will take a few attempts so don't be disheartened um, and if you do manage to click it and get the blocks to come out, it does look like that. Pretty mental, I know. So do keep your eye on it because uh, obviously you've got the head on view. You are going to miss how far the spikes come out. And you can only spawn these so many times. So make sure you keep your eye on it. There is another way if you do miss it. You can use the blocks to build back up again. This is the bit where the whole floor collapses into nothing. So if you can't do this or you're taking too many attempts, all you have to do is build up to this room. There you go pretty cool the egg is right at the very back and it's got like a little target on the back of it again not too bad of an egg don't ask me what these things do i don't think they do anything to be fair i think it's just to get you to explore places and there we go like that's what normally happens to the floor it normally collapses and then you can use the bits to build back up it does take a while to build up now the next one is on the same level labyrinth it's a little bit further down and you'll remember this room as soon as you run through the doorway have a little bit of a run around because you need to activate the checkpoint reason being you need to restart the level well don't restart the level reset to checkpoint even if you restart the level you're going to be started from scratch and you have to do this again so once you've restarted your checkpoint you can climb up and the egg is right at the very back you can get up into that room but there's literally nothing there it's uh, it turns into a dead end area and here we go another nice little easter egg now the last one on labyrinth is one of the easiest ones to get we all remember this room and instead of dropping down from the front if you walk around make sure you don't fall and then just as you fall in keep hitting w to walk forwards and you will land on the ledge where the egg is and that's where it is another really cool looking egg 
Again, there might be more eggs, but I've only managed to find eight. And there we go, pretty cool. The last one what we've found is on white space by Find Me Favourite Level. There is two ways to get this one. If you can see the room up top, you can get it from there as well. If you don't know how to get up there, I'll show you. But first of all, this is how you get to the egg. This is probably the easiest way to be fair. So all you have to do is run down the side all the way around the back and then hiding away will be a little smiley faced egg as you see in here. Weirdly enough, this is actually the very first egg I ever found on this game. And it's just as simple as a little egg with smiley face on it. Now, another way to get up there is once you've collected all the chess pieces, this screen here will become clickable. If you don't know how to collect the chess pieces, up in the cards above is a guide through that. It will take you up into the room that we've just been looking at. There is an open window. Uh, there is an achievement you can get. I'll show you this really quickly because uh, this isn't the right video to be uh, showing achievements. All you have to do is move the castle all the way across, take the pawn. It is a little bit fiddly, but once you take the pawn, move the castle across, and then that'd be a checkmate on the actual king, and then you've won the game. You will get a little achievement for it as well. So while you're up here, you might as well get it. Once you've finished exploring, jump out the window, and then to the right, be very careful not to fall, or it doesn't really matter if you do fall, to be fair. There's the egg. Again, it's the same egg we just collected. We just got it a slightly different way. Now, if there's any eggs that you found and I've missed, let me know in the comments down below. These Easter eggs never used to be here at one point. Obviously, they came in with an update. There were a lot of places that weren't accessible that now are. And this is what I love about this game. They just keep adding things, keep updating, and it just keeps it really fresh. Probably one of my favourite games, to be fair. If you enjoyed the video or it helped you out in any way, feel free to leave me a like. If you want to see more, feel free to leave a sub. And if you activate the bell notification, you will be notified when a new video releases, which is usually every Monday at half past six GMT. Follow me on Twitter to see what I'm currently working on. If you follow me on Instagram, you're going to see a video's thumbnail before the video's even released. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.